All right, Ensign. Are you ready to begin your field training exercises? Today we're going to learn the basic controls needed to operate one of the Navy's Royal Lightships. If you do well here, Ensign, you'll have your chance to participate in the final graduation exercises this afternoon. I'll be right here beside you as we run through the basic operations, so pay attention to my instructions. Everything spoken is being recorded, so if you ever find you need to review what you've been told, simply click on the chat button and then scroll to find what you're looking for. The first thing we'll cover is movement, but before we begin, you should know how to move the camera. To move the camera and see what's around you, right-click and hold the mouse pointer on the open Ethereum, then move your mouse to the left or right. To zoom in and out, right-click and hold on the Ethereum, then slide the mouse forward or back. Once you get underway, seeing what's around you is crucial. Why don't you spend a moment practicing with the camera controls? Zoom in and you can get a good look at your ship. Zoom out and you can have a look at the surroundings. initiative is commendable, but bear with me a moment while I review the movement controls with you properly. Right then, on to movement. The fastest way to get moving is to left-click your mouse pointer anywhere in the Ethereum. When you do this, you'll see a waypoint marked by a large X and a yellow line showing the path your ship will follow. Once you've laid the waypoint, you will automatically accelerate to full speed ahead and follow the pathing line. If you want to place more than one waypoint at a time, uh, to maneuver around islands for instance, you may use the multiple waypoints button found at the bottom of the screen. Once you've pressed this button, you may place multiple waypoints in the Ethereum. Each time you left click, another X will appear with a pathing line connecting the points. You may continue placing waypoints until you've created a path that is to your liking. As you're placing waypoints, You'll notice a green check mark and a red X near the last waypoint you placed. Pressing the green check mark will accept the path you've chosen and start your ship moving. Pressing the red X will cancel your waypoints and allow you to start laying them out in a new pattern. To return to the single waypoint system, just press the waypoint icon again. Keep in mind that you can adjust the speed of your vessel by clicking on the speed bar in the lower left-hand corner of your screen. Red is all stop, yellow is ahead slow, light green is all ahead full, and dark green is full emergency speed. As your speed changes, so too does your ability to turn. A ship traveling at a lower speed can turn more quickly than the same one traveling at high speed. Keep this in mind when you get into situations where tight maneuvering is required. Do you see the yellow arrow in front of the ship's selection disc? That arrow represents an objective point. Follow that arrow and you won't get lost. Now I'm going to hand over the controls to you and I want you to try maneuvering for yourself. There's a lighthouse island nearby. Plot a course to it and remember to follow the objective arrow.
brilliant. I knew you would catch on quickly. As you just experienced, your sighting range is quite limited. Thankfully, the Royal Engineers and Cartographers have been diligently updating our star maps. These maps indicate islands, nebula, and black holes in the area, which is handy as a spotter can only see so far. To view the star map, click the circular blue icon in the lower left-hand corner of the screen. As you'll see, the map shows our ship near the islands where we are currently stopped. The pulsing yellow dot on the map indicates your current objective. The upper left-hand corner of the star map is where the mission objectives are listed. These objectives will help guide you, and as a member of the Royal Navy, it is your duty to complete them. The tasks in yellow are your current objectives. Once an objective is completed, it will turn blue. However, should you fail to complete an objective, it will turn red. Be sure to check periodically for new objectives. All right, Enton, activate the star map now. Do you see the large island in the middle of the map? Set your waypoints and make for that island straight away. And don't forget to use your objective arrow to help plot your course. The engines are at full power, sir! Setting course. There's the island now. Our destination is on the southeastern side. Steady as she goes. going to cover weapons and targeting. Each ship's weapons are organized into banks. You can see these by left-clicking the skull icon on the left side of the screen. This reveals your weapon bar. The larger the vessel, the more weapon banks you'll have. On this torpedo boat, the top icon represents the light lancers we currently have equipped. The two additional icons represent the torpedo tubes positioned on the port and starboard sides of the boat. The position of the icon shows where on your ship that bank of weapons is placed. When a weapon is loaded and ready to fire, the weapon's icon will light up. The recharge bar along the left side of the icon indicates how close a weapon's bank is to being loaded. When a target is in range of a weapon's bank, a green outline will appear around the weapon icon. This will happen regardless of whether the weapon bank is ready to fire or not. In the event that the weapon or the part of the ship it is mounted on are damaged and it cannot be fired, it will be crossed off in the weapons bar. Now that you know how to keep track of your weapon banks, let's review the targeting of enemy vessels. To target the enemy, simply move your mouse pointer over their vessel. The mouse pointer should turn into a targeting icon. This means the vessel is hostile and can be fired upon. If there's no targeting icon, the vessel is allied with you. 
When you've selected a target, all weapons that are loaded and within range will fire. Remember, it is possible to target specific parts of a ship. For example, if you want to target the enemy's sails, click their sails rather than the hull with the targeting icon. Clicking on the enemy vessel again will launch another attack. Although the target barge isn't moving, when you launch your torpedoes towards the enemy in real combat, keep in mind that the torpedoes will track them, but smaller and faster craft may be able to outmaneuver and avoid your shot. When attacking with torpedoes, move in closer to help ensure the target will be hit. Now show me what you've learned, Ensign. See that unmanned target barge? I want you to hit it as many times as you can with your lancers and torpedoes. Engines at full emergency power! Torpedoes away! Vessel spotted, sir! Captain!